This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. Now, if this was a news show, I might be talking about how the judge and perhaps the most hyped up famous trial in consumer tech history asked one of the lawyers if he was, quote, smoking crack. I also might be talking about all this craziness that's going on with Twitter and the APIs and the developers and the I have $50.com website that might be a spoof, might not be. I can't quite tell. I think it's a spoof though, but it's not. It's a rumor show. So instead, run them up. Wahoo! Hey everybody, and what is going on from the city by the bay? No, 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 not that one. The one on the east side of the bay, Oaktown. Todd Hazelson will be running around New York City from event to event on September 5th. No, 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 it's not iPhone launch day. That's the next week, we think. Covering what looks to be some Windows Phone 8 stuff and some Android stuff. Motorola and Verizon sent out an invite to what they're calling the day's main event, a little subtle dig at the Nokia Microsoft event going on earlier in the day. And all signs are pointing to the Motorola Verizon shindig being the coming out party for the Droid Razor HD because let's face it, the world needs another Droid Razor phone, let alone just another Razor in general. You know what they say about a dead horse? You can name a cell phone after. Now, everything's heating up around the Razor HD. We think we've seen some leaks, we've seen some photos, and now you can even learn how to use the thing before it's out. Thanks to some leaked videos on YouTube that apparently came from the phone's ROM, their training videos, how to use the Razor HD, even though the Razor HD doesn't officially exist yet. But we all know it does. We all know it's coming out on September 5th. We also know, or think we know, that the Razer HD is gonna be kind of like the Atrix HD, which is available over there on AT&T. We're also looking at an ice cream sandwich build incorporating Motorola's blur, uh, skin, UI, fork Android, whatever it is these days. Whatever it is, it's gonna be worth watching, or at least the PR says so. See, bad metaphors, but I'm working on all the PR buzzwords. Now we're gonna take a word from our sponsors. When we come back, we're gonna talk about not one, but two new Nexus devices that we think are coming but not in the US, at least not at first. We have to send Todd to Japan. First, a word from Full Sail University. Hey, you don't need me to tell you that the world of mobile app development is in fuego right now. That means on fire. At least that's what ESPN told me. You don't need me to tell you that. You know that. Mobile apps, mobile apps, mobile apps, app stores, apps, making money, coding, mobile apps. It's hot, hot, hot right now. And mobile means tablets also. So yeah, it's probably not going away anytime soon. Well, Full Sail University has a new online mobile application development bachelor's program that can teach you both sides of the industry, programming and business. So you can learn what you need to know to take advantage of the emerging opportunities in mobile app development. In this degree program, you'll learn all kinds of important stuff, app development, visual frameworks, advanced programming techniques, and deployment on both Android and iOS. Through Full Sail's Project Launchbox program, you will receive a MacBook Pro as well as Android and iOS devices, and you will learn in Full Sail's unique immersive platform that takes full advantage of the MacBook Pro. 15 billion, that's billion with a B, apps have been downloaded already from the App Store, and the Android market is expected to grow some 600% by the end of this year. So if you're ready to take the next step, just head on over to fullsail.edu slash technobuffalo. That's fullsail, S-A-I-L, like a sailboat, .edu slash technobuffalo to learn more and enroll right now. Android Noodles, not making this up. Go to their site, and at least on the mobile version, there's something in there, it, it's uh, translated, so it's not English, but the headline up there says Android Noodles and something about like the best fast food in the world or something, it's pretty funny, go check it out. Anyway, Android Noodles reporting that not one, but two new Google Nexus devices are preparing to be launched over in Japan, and the devices will be made by Sony and LG. But actually, it's not two we're talking about, it's three because we're looking at supposedly another device from Samsung. So Samsung already has done some Nexus stuff. Sony and LG now joining the party. Google's kind of said all along that they want to have their five big OEM partners under the Nexus umbrella. And if you believe the noodles, it's gonna come true this fall. Apparently Japan's Docomo, one of the big mobile networks over there, mobile providers, their fall winter roadmap was leaked and there are in fact three Nexus devices listed on the roadmap. One is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus 2. One is the LG Optimus Nexus. Kind of like the ring of that, Optimus Nexus. And the last is the Sony Nexus Xperia, or is it Xperia Nexus? I think it's Xperia, Xperia Nexus, that would make more sense, I don't know. If you recall, the original Samsung Galaxy Nexus was launched in Hong Kong, I believe, before eventually making its way across the globe, including to the US. So if this all is true, and these devices are launched in Japan on Docomo, don't fret. 
our friends, don't fret little buddy, our friends in the uh, US and Canada and other parts, far flung parts of the world. Shout out to SummerSlam, Parts Unknown. Do, do wrestlers even come from Parts Unknown anymore? Are you shocked that I'm a wrestling fan? I kinda, I kinda am, I kinda haven't watched it in a while. I'm getting way off topic. All right kids, that'll do it. Remember, think good thoughts for Todd on September 5th. He'll be running around New York City like a crazy man covering everything. But you might see me once more before then. And at some point, we're going to have to recap all the Apple rumors ahead of September 12th. But, yeah, we got time for that. So next time, remember, you can catch Techno Buffalo on Rev3 three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'll be back next Friday with the Roundup. Until then, thanks to Full Sail University. I almost said that to you. Full Sail University for sponsoring the show. Thanks to you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.